Hi guys, Sam Cookies from EVSC and today I've got the world's number one selling EV, Australia's number one selling EV, the Tesla Model Y Series 2, also known as the Juniper, and I'm going to give you everything that you need to know about how to charge this car, its charging speeds, and some helpful tips to get you back on the road faster. So let's get started. <music> So the new Model Y comes in two versions, the base rear-wheel drive and the long-range all-wheel drive versions. Now the rear-wheel drive comes with a modest 62.5 kilowatt hour battery, which is still very impressive, and 466 kilometers of range. And at zero to 100 speed is 5.9 seconds, so it's respectable and it's really nice and nippy. The long range, however, significantly improves though. It's got a battery of 75 kilowatt hours, and importantly, it gives you 551 kilometers of range. So 12 and a half kilowatts gives you another 100 kilometers. It's very nice little trade-up. And the zero to 100 speed is also 4.8 seconds, so it's a significantly quicker car. I really, really like that long range all-wheel drive. I think that's gonna hold its value really nicely long-term. In terms of their AC and DC charging speeds, they're both the same. So from a smaller AC, like your home charger or like your little chargers at shopping centers, they're 11 kilowatt hours. So, you know, about 5.7 to 6.8 hours, hours per vehicle. And then from the DC perspective, Tesla stepped it up. 250 kilowatt hour charging speed. So if you find the right charger, these vehicles are really gonna produce a strong charging speed. What it means is between 15 to 18 minutes, your vehicle is going to be fully charged. So a real, real upgrade on the first generation Model Y, especially that long range is gonna give you a great bang for buck. So let's open up the charging port and show you how to plug in. So to charge the Tesla up, simple. It's still on the back left passenger side. You simply tap on it when the car's unlocked and it will open it up. They still have that slight curve at the top which drives me mentally insane because it makes half the time the plugs don't plug in properly, but it's still very simple and it's easy to use. As we all know, that top section here, that's your AC charging port. So when you're using a standard home charger or an AC, now when you use those bigger public chargers, the DC, it uses the full CCS2 cable. You just plug in and of course with Tesla, you can either unlock it on the charger, on the screen of the vehicle using your Tesla app or with some using the apps of the various charging stations. So it's pretty simple, they've kept it simple, but again, I would have loved to have seen an unlock button there, but still great. So as with previous generations with Tesla, they do not provide any charging infrastructure with the vehicle, so no portable charger, no EV cable. However, they do provide this beautiful section at the bottom of the boot where you can put all your charging infrastructure. And of course at EVSC, we sell portable chargers, type two cables, home chargers, we can store any kind of brand. So um, when you do buy one of these vehicles and you're in Australia or New Zealand, reach out to the team and we can make sure that you get the charging infrastructure that matches this vehicle. And of course, all your warranties are perfectly maintained when you choose our equipment. Um, let's jump inside now and give you a look at the interior. Massive upgrade, massive improvements in this car. I'm really impressed by what Tesla did. Small changes, but they really produced a big effect. So as I said to you guys, major upgrades with the interior. The doors now thud, they've got a beautiful LED screen. They've really made it a little bit more spacious as well for where your feet are. And in terms of all the charging information, that's displayed right here on the side of the screen. I've got a single phase AC charger plugged in, so it's getting a really nice speed, 32 amps. Of course, this vehicle can go up to 11 kilowatts AC or 250 on the DC. If you want more information about charging, all you gotta do is press this and say charging. You can stop charging here, you can unlock the port, you can set how much you want to charge your vehicle to, 100 or 80%, and importantly, scheduling. So if you want to create a schedule, all right here on this beautiful display, nice and simple. So let's wrap this up. So there you have it guys, everything you need to know about how to charge the brand new 2025 Tesla Model Y Juniper. And of course, if you need any charging advice, charging accessories or equipment for your home, office or on the go, please reach out to the team at EBSC. We're here to answer any questions. Bye for now.